what's going on guys and gals and we are back for yet another fine edition of the brew review and as you can see we have something rather odd tonight we got a pearl necklace gmc right there i blame you people i blame you because you have pushed us to this you wanting your your fancy weird beers your fancy weird drinks or whatever you I blame every single one of you for what we are about to endure. So, what we got tonight... You! I blame you! It was my fault for starting the whole series. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, in tonight's feature of the brew review, we got one called Flying Dog Pearl Necklace Oyster Stout. Yes. Ale brewed with oysters, which... This might be interesting, and... Oh, it must be a fundraiser beer. Proceeds benefit Chesapeake Bay Oyster Restoration. <laughs> Interesting. 5.5% alcohol by volume, as you can see, 12 full ounces. So this is a beer that actually it raises money to help the oysters so that they can kill them to brew more of this. Now, I, I have a random thought. What's your random thought? You know how people, when people get drunk and they go to have sex with their woman, they have limp dick? Yes. Would this maybe counteract that? It's possible. It's or better yet, possible. maybe it's alcoholic Viagra. It's possible. History time. History All time. All right. Listen up, kids. <laughs> uh, the brewery is located in Frederick, Maryland. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Right by the Crusaders. Yep. It was originally in Aspen in 1990. Aspen. Aspen. Uh, some of the other names that they have out there, different types of beer... Doggy style, cl nice classic pale ale, snake dog, road dog, Scottish porter, road dog, tire bite, golden ale, old That's weird. scratch lager, in heat wheat, <laughs> oh nice, Gonzo imperial porter, horn dog barley wine style, and double dog double pale ale. Interesting. Yeehaw. So now that we got the history lesson over with, we're gonna do the usual opening of the cap test. Body and head test, drink test, draft test, smell test, all that good stuff. So, we'll do the handoff and let's get started. I, I I'm gonna, I'll do the honors first I since don't. it's a perverted thing. Yeah, I really don't. Really and look, this. that's a weird ass uh, label, that's isn't a, it? That's a beat up woman right there. Or no, it's a dog. A dog. It's a dog dressed in drag. See it? Yeah. You know, flying dog. I don't know. I wonder if it starts looking hotter as you keep drinking them. I don't know. I don't. I have no hopes for this. It's. A, well, let's try the cap. Yeah. And, of course. Of course. And where's the damn opener? We are unprepared. The opener is over on that table there. Hold this. So. I'll go and get it. We'll give you more shots of the bottle. It kind of has, as we mentioned, the ugly looking woman, whatever the hell it is. Huh. We're trying to filibuster here while he gets the opener. Sorry about that, people. We, yeah, we don't script this shit. I can't find the opener. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Okay. Should we go on a commercial uh, break? Wait, wait. No, no, here it is. Never mind. So. It was on the counter. We will do the second handoff. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. It's not as bad as uh, episode four when I spent two minutes trying to open it. Yeah. So, I'm I mean, gonna, maybe I'll try okay. to save it. Fruit and beer is one thing. This has fish. This has. This hissed. This has shellfish in it. All right, let's smell it. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, no. All right, handle. <laughs> this is going to be different. I don't like it when you... I don't do. think it's a bad smell. I don't like it when you do... However, this. it is a different smell. When you hand it off and don't tell me right away, I don't like that. Well, if you shove your nose right into it, that's it what she does likes. smell like a, like a stout, like a darker beer. Okay, so, what's your thoughts? It, stout smell. It smells like a stout. It smells like a dark I'll guarantee beer. you it's pretty dark. So, so it's, gonna, uh, it's definitely going to be dark. Oh, Jesus we Christ. We will do the drink test. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she got a pearl necklace. Let's try it. Oh, he, he guzzled that. Uh-oh. 
Okay, let's try the second ah, one. The flavor burst. Damn it. The suspense is killing me. It kind of tastes like those coffee porters we just did recently. A little bit like that. But no hint of oyster. I don't taste it anywhere. Really? Huh. But it has kind of like a half stout, half porter like taste to it. So it's like your Java head, your peg legs. Well, believe it or not, it don't taste as filling. It, really? It's not quite as filling as you would think a stout would be. Huh. Well. But it's it's not the worst thing I ever had. So. Guess what? It's we'll my trade. turn now. We'll trade. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey, hey. Brew by Frying Dog. GMC rocking the No Ma'am shirt. For the oysters! And they're letting your dick! Okay, that was totally random and stupid. So he tries it. Okay, the aftertaste. The aftertaste is bad. This definitely... This is Java Head. The, jo the aftertaste is Java Head. It don't taste as bad as Java Head, no, though. I got a flavor burst it. Okay. Initial taste, <clears throat> I wasn't a fan. But, second taste, it kind of cleansed the palate a little bit. It's kind of growing on me. Not a yeah, fan. I, I, think, I think the aftertaste is what does it for the me. Yeah. As you can see, we got a new body in the head cup. Straight and, from Pottsville. Oh, shoot, we got a guest today. We're already filming, buddy. With a dog. And he got his PBR at hand. Welcome back, Matt, to the brew review. Well, anyway, he does the body and head test. Yes. New glass. Yeah, straight from Pottsville. All right. New glass. Straight from Pottsville. Yep. I, I, I stopped. I stopped after work one I day and got the it. Another one. Now we're gonna. So. Ooh, that. There, there we go. There's about an inch there of I head. I kind of dropped that one, but that's okay. Very dark. Very. It's a darker. Coca-Cola. Yes. Hey, I want to burn some CDs. Okay. CDs nuts. <laughs> Would you like to uh, try the pearl necklace oyster stout? Yeah. <laughs> Come on over. So. So. See, I can't smell it as good out of the cup like you said on the last episode. Yeah. Uh, a lot more better as you say it. Go ahead. Pearl necklace oyster. I like it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try it. I like it. It's a dark. It's like a coffee beer. It's like a Java head. Exactly. It's better in draft, I think. Uh, I mean, again, this might be just us growing on this shit, but dark beer's the best. We uh, we definitely got to do a return of the brews because <laughs> we weren't really into too many beers when we did Java head, so. We got a lot of fucking flack for that one. So GMC finishes it. It's way more tolerable. Sally. In the, uh, in the glass. Yeah. But, yeah. thankfully, thankfully, Sally. this is not, oyster. this does not taste like oyster. Okay, I'm going to give my rating on it. I'm going to say, I'll give it a three. I mean, it's probably six pack worthy. Yeah, again, me not being... It's borderline, maybe half six-pack worthy, if that makes any sense. The burp, actually, is pretty good, too. Oh, but, shit, I never had that yet. Uh, again... <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, I gotta go three. I'll, I'll give it a three, just because, again, I had no hopes for it. I was expecting this to taste like fish, but I'm glad it did. <laughs> It tastes just like Java Head, like a coffee type. I think it's more of a tame. It's a tamer version of it. I think. I think it has more of a porter taste yeah, than anything. It, in my honest it opinion, it is deceiving because people will see oyster stout and will not touch it. But I can assure you, it does not taste like oysters. All right. So that was tonight's episode of the Brew Review on Pearl Necklace Oyster Stout. And uh, yeah, we'll have more coming. We'll have more coming your way. And stay tuned. And peace out.